Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time for Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. Thank you for joining me today on Faith to Live By. This is Sue Taylor. You know, when someone asks you how you are doing, how do you respond? When people ask me how I'm doing, I sometimes respond with, I'm finishing well. I know you have heard me say on this program how important it is to finish well. And I think it is something which should be a mindset. It should be something that we need to remind ourselves always, I am finishing well. The Apostle Paul knew what it was to finish well. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, he gives his last testimony to Timothy, beginning in verse 6. He says, For I am already being poured out like a drink offering, and the time has come for my departure. I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. What a beautiful declaration of finishing well. He fought a good fight. He finished the race. He kept the faith. So how are you doing today, beloved child of God? Are you finishing well for Christ? What does it mean to finish well? And how do we know if we are? Paul knew and he gave us the formulas for finishing well. The first priority in finishing well, of course, is our faith. We are headed for the finishing line and faith in Christ and because of Christ will spur us on to that finish line because it says without faith it is impossible to believe or please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him even Paul said now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness which the Lord the righteous judge will award me on that day Our reward when we reach that finish line is Jesus himself and his crown of righteousness granted to us. That in itself should spur us on to the finish line. Keep your faith, beloved. Secondly, Paul said he fought a good fight. Involve yourself always with the things of God and not the things of this world. No one, it says, serving as a soldier gets involved in uh, civilian affairs or things of this world because he wants to please his commanding officer. And our commanding officer is Jesus Christ. Reaching the finish line will mean dropping off the things that entangle and keeps us from running well. Remember, we are headed for the finish line. There is a goal in front of us. And thirdly, if we are to finish well, we can never give up. Don't quit. Don't throw the towel in, so to speak. Don't faint in well-doing. For it says in due season, you will reap if you faint not. Now, I'm sure that some of you have heard this story that I have told, I'm sure, on this program the time in my life that I was pretty downcast and felt like giving up the fight. And at that time, my two oldest sons were in Bible school away from home, and they just happened to call when I felt like quitting. And one of my sons admonished me, and he said, Mom, do you remember that you taught us boys to never give up? Just remember, do you remember Steve Smith? And I said, no, I don't think so. Who is that? I don't remember a Steve Smith. And my son replied, you don't remember him, Mom, because he gave up. He quit. He made me laugh because we didn't know a Steve Smith, but he drove his point home. We are to stand our ground in running to the finishing line. We are not to compromise and we don't give up. Fourthly, to finish well, we have to invest wisely. The Apostle Paul was constantly and consistently investing in the kingdom of God. 
Throughout all of his letters, he admonishes us to invest in the eternal, not the temporal. And the greatest investment you can make is in someone else's life. You know, people are God's priority, and they should be ours. Pray for them, love them, believe in them, hope for them. Everyone, regardless of their age, our limitations, resources, everybody has something to invest in God's people. You can always pray. Choose someone today and begin to pray for that person. And watch the difference that it will make in your attitude toward that person. You will be investing in their life. Fifth, fifthly, stay focused. If you're racing toward the finish line, keep your eyes fixed ahead on the goal. Remember the old song, Life is like a mountain railroad with an engineer that's brave. Keep your hand upon the throttle and your eye upon the rail. We keep our eyes upon the rail because we don't want to jump the track with the objects and obstructions that life throws our way. And when we stay focused, beloved, we can then, with the great Apostle Paul, depart this life with having no regrets because we know we finished well. It's never too late to start finishing well. Start today and you will cross that finish line right into the arms of your blessed Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Faith to Live By. You've been listening to Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. If you would like to write with your comments or to request a copy of this program for an $8 donation, write Sue Taylor, 10827 Highway 86 East, Neosho, Missouri, 64850. Sue Taylor is a member of the KNEO team and a keynote speaker at several church and women's events throughout the four-state area. To book Sue for your next event, contact Sky High Radio at 417-451-5636.